What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Here we are. It's a fresh new day. It's day nine here out in the tropics and uh, we have an exciting day ahead of us. So you guys know recently we've been really kind of setting up home base. I mean this is our home island here. She's lovely, you know, like a great place to start feel like she's treated us very very well you guys can see we've got all of our our you know assets here all neatly organized and stuff we're starting to learn how to farm we're starting to set up bird snares over here on the other end of the island we've got a fishing little trap set out there somewhere and so uh, overall things are going well oh I thought that bird was gonna get caught by that I really want to start stepping my game up a little bit more I think there are some some more permanent situations that we need to start thinking about I would love to build a house eventually, but if you guys go into building here, you guys can see it takes a lot of wood. Holy cow, there's so much wood or planks or corrugated or whatever else. Like that's just for the foundation. Then you have your floor, your walls, your windows, everything like that. So that's kind of crazy. I would also like to make a raft. I'm tired of paddling around. I would love to get a raft with a sail on it. You guys can see wood raft bases, 14 sticks just for the base plus a lashing. Then up here, you're gonna have to make floors on it. You can make anchors, sails, rudders, all kinds of stuff like that. Eventually, we could have it powered by a motor, but we don't even have gas right now, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But if we could have a, a raft with a sail where we can just sail easily to our, our destination, that would be so nice. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. I've got a, uh, a pretty good plan. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start off by getting some food set up for uh, for the adventure today. We never wanna have to worry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and skin a couple of sardines. We're gonna grab our kindling and then we're gonna start ourselves a nice little fire. All right, so she's lit. I'm gonna go ahead and attach each, oop, oop, each piece of meat here. I really wish our smoker was working. I can't figure it out. I've been Googling it, YouTubing it, all kinds of stuff like that. We built this thing a long time ago. I hit it with a hammer. I don't know. Apparently it's been glitched in previous games and stuff. If you know exactly what's wrong, please leave it down in the comments because I would love for smoked meat to be an option for us. But um, anyway, yeah, so we've got that cooking. What we're gonna be doing today is we are gonna be going to our favorite Southwest Island, which we need to start naming these islands. I was thinking of calling him Primo, just cause it was like our first island that we went to, like the, the Primero Island. So I think Primo's kinda cool, but uh, let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. Anyway, we're gonna be going over there, we're gonna be cutting down trees, cause we obviously need a lot of wood for houses and rafts and everything else. And I just, I don't like the idea of cutting down the trees on this island. Like this, this is our homeland. This is a sacred place where we first landed. So I'm not going to mess with that. How are we going to carry all that wood back? You guys know we had a bit, a bit of an issue in the last episode. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to go out here. I'm going to drop pretty much all the stuff in our inventory. So we're going to drop the leather skin, the crab, the two fishing spears, the leaves, and the knife. We don't need any of those. And then we are going to be carrying these things. So these crates have three slots in them, but they only take up one slot in your inventory. So you get basically triple the items for the same price, which is awesome. Now you guys can see our ax here is looking a little bit weak. We're at 17.3%. So what I'm going to do is to make a new ax, we are going to need, I think it's two, yeah, two stone tools a stick and a lashing. We can make those stone tools over on the island. I think we have some extra stones. We might not, I'm not sure, but we're definitely gonna take one of the lashings. So let me grab this lashing. Let's throw it in the backpack so it doesn't take up a space on our inventory. And then we're gonna pick all these things up. We're gonna need a paddle. And then what, what does that leave us with? Excuse me, I'm trying to get out of the sun, dude. I'm not, I'm not trying to get sunstroke or anything like that. What does that leave us with? We've got one extra slot. I would say, let's take a lantern because we're gonna do this at night. So then we can can potentially uh, be able to see. That's important. So uh, anyway, it is 12 o'clock. How are we looking on food and water? Not bad. Actually, what I'm gonna do, let's drop the paddle for now. I'm gonna go ahead and pick, pick up our cooked meat. I thought we cooked two meats. We may have put it up there. Oops, oh well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let's let's go and extinguish this. We've got a small meat here, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and then we're gonna sleep. Good morning, or evening should I say. It is um, 9 at 25 p.m. We have a lot of evening to get through, a lot of night to go, and we don't have to worry about the sun, which is the best part. So we're gonna go ahead and eat this. Do we think that's gonna hold us over? Shoot, dude. I think we're gonna wanna cook two more pieces of meat. I messed that up. I think I put one of the pieces on the smoker instead of where I actually wanted it to go. I don't even know if, if, has this meat gone bad? Small meat? I'm just gonna 
pick this up. Not enough room in our inventory. Shoot. Let's go ahead and drop that over there. I'm gonna pick that up. Is that, is that smoked? Can we eat that? I don't think we can eat that. So I'm gonna attach it. Yeah, I, th I think they're both on there. Okay, so we're gonna let those cook. We're gonna, gonna you know, take a couple of, couple of bites before we leave. I'm gonna drink some water. Let's pick these up to be able to refill that. Boom, 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 boom. All right, looks good. So our water's good. Our meat's getting there. We do have some meat over there if we need it. But as soon as this meat is done, we are gonna grab it, eat it, and bounce out. So it looks like both of them were cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and extinguish that. We're gonna eat. I wanna, sometimes the game's kinda weird about that. I'm gonna switch to that. We're gonna eat both of these, pick up the lantern and the paddle, and away we go. It's time to get going. We could, I mean, technically if we, if we dropped this stuff, we totally could um, could have a couple a couple more slots. Should we do, we should probably do that. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop those. We'll open this. Take all this stuff, put it over here with our important stuff. Got my paddle, got my raft. It makes me kind of sad because this is probably one of the final times that we are gonna use this raft. But uh, at the same time, I'm very excited not to have to, to paddle the entire way from now on. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're gonna be able to, to just get in, set the sails and go. So we're gonna paddle there. I'll see y'all in a sec. You know, I just realized that we should have done would have been really smart and kind of knocked two birds out with one stone We definitely could have grabbed the pickaxe if we grabbed the pickaxe We could have harvested the minerals over on this island. We might be able to make one I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it's working But even if we can't eventually we're gonna have to come back to this island to go to that one off in the far distance So we'll hit it eventually. I'm not worried about it. What's up primo long time. No see we literally just saw you yesterday I'm kind of excited about the the prospects of this this raft because we're gonna be able to, to go farther than what we've done you know what I mean like we're not gonna be stuck between these two islands I don't feel like we've been stuck but I just I, I look forward to having having more opportunities so I'm gonna go ahead and put our uh, put our paddle back Let's drag this boy up on the the shoreline and here we go okay so what are we gonna have to make can we make can we make a pick we're gonna need leather for the refi refined pick. So we are not, we are not gonna be able to, to make a pick to be able to take that out right now. That's fine. But we are gonna be able to, to make some stone tools, make a couple of those, looks good. And then um, we just wanna, we wanna drop all these things, dude. Gonna drop them every couple steps. Looks good, okay. So one of these has a lashing to be able to make a new ax, cause I know we're gonna have to have a new ax and it's this one, nice, looks good. So we've got the two the two stone tools, we've got the lashing, now we're gonna be able to make another crude ax. So we've got two axes here, we've got ourselves a lantern, and it's, it's just gonna be time to go to work, dude. We're just gonna be picking up absolutely as many sticks as we possibly can. Yo, it feels like I'm playing Fortnite again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just hop in the match and start farming right away. Just go around hitting trees and houses and everything else. My goodness. This is just exciting, visceral gameplay right here, man. I'm excited to be here. Now here's where the magic happens. You guys are gonna see we have a completely full inventory of sticks right here. Pretty solid, right? Well, what we're gonna be able to do is we can go in this wood crate, we can go in our backpack, we can put three rounds of sticks in there. You guys can see it's now got three sticks. We can pick it up, and then if we look at our inventory, you guys can see, bada bing, bada boom, we just saved ourselves some space. So that's pretty much the idea. We are gonna fill a bunch of these crates to the brim with sticks, and then I was also thinking we should be picking up the palm fronds. When we knock them down like this, you can go up to the, the bunch at the top and you can get the palm fronds. And then also some of the, the yucca plants on this uh, on this island have regrown. So I think we're gonna you know get all the extra fibrous leaves, especially from these young palm trees and stuff. And then that way we can uh, we can truly make magic happen, man. We're gonna have tons and tons of resources. So it's gonna be awesome. I got a lot of work to do. I'll see you guys when we're done. It's gonna be a long night. So guys, quite a bit of time has passed here. It is 10 o'clock, 10.13 on the, the following evening. So I took another nap during the day. I didn't want to go around and look for all these fibrous leaves during the day just because it, it obviously, you know, you can get sunstroke and start running out of food and water really, really quickly. Speaking of food, we may want to, um, we may want to start up the fire. I'm down to start up the fire and just kind of get something going a little bit. So uh, just to catch you guys up on where we're at, Basically, oh shoot, you know what? We are not gonna be able to eat anything. Never mind. 
Can we cancel this? Shoot. Because we don't have a knife to be able to break open the um, break open the, the crab shell. We we filled up every single crate totally and entirely with, with the wood, which is good, obviously. We have since started going after all the little the little mini palm trees here to get all the little uh, fibrous leaves to be able to make lashings and whatever else. And we're just trying to scavenge whatever we can. Our axe is starting to get a little worn down. We're at 8.8% durability. Ooh, here's a rock. That's that's crucial. Rocks are, are honestly one of the hardest things to come by for me so far in this series. We've actually got a couple of rocks. We could... We could make a new axe now if we wanted to. I don't know that that's going to be necessary though. I think I think we're pretty solid. Like we have a ton of wood. We don't really need to overstay our welcome. What we can do is pick up some of these palm fronds from the trees that we knocked down. I mean, that way we can use the palm fronds for water and use the fibrous leaves to be able to make lashings. I feel like that that makes a lot of sense there. But um, yeah, dude, it's uh, it was a good trip for sure. Again, I, I kind of wish we would have brought the, the pickaxe or made a pickaxe to be able to, to take that stone, whatever it is. But that's um, that's all right. You live and you learn. We'll come back here eventually. But I'm just going to finish up here. We want to go back soon. I don't want to get too low on food. I don't want our farm back home to end up dying because we didn't water it before we left. So we're, we're going to try to hurry up, get what we can. I'll show you guys what we end up with. Man, it looks it looks like we're starting to get kind of full. So. With that, our axe just broke. I think that's it. I think we have, where were we just picking up palm fronds? There's a couple more palm fronds we could take here. And then I think we have some stacked up over here. Try to take what, I don't want to completely leave us dry over here though. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and leave, leave four of those. All right, so it looks good. Our, our meat's a little bit low. We could use a little bit more water. So let's drink some waters, put a couple fibers on. I guess pick up a couple extra... No, we're, we're fine, dude. We'll, we'll leave, we'll leave a, a stockpile here for us to come back to later. We have two empty slots. We could carry four more pieces of wood and then our paddle. So one, two, three, four. And then we've got our paddle here. Pick this bad boy up. And it's, it's time to go home. I'm gonna save just in case you never know what's gonna happen. And then it's time to go home. Wait a second. It, I was almost not gonna pay attention. I was almost gonna leave without all my stuff. Oh, that would have been so bad, dude. Okay, so now we've got to play it a little bit smarter. I feel like the palm fronds are not as important. So we're gonna have to drop all these. We're gonna have to drop the two rocks and the sticks. I I cannot believe that I almost just did that. So we're, we're gonna take these two out, open this up. Is there a way to do the whole stack or do you have to click it individually? I think you gotta click it individually. So we're gonna bring all the fibrous leaves because those are the most important. We're gonna drop all these palm fronds here. And then since we're back here with our paddle and our, our lantern like we started with, we're gonna be able to pick up all these crates. Holy cow, I guess we have one extra slot. So we can bring, I'll bring the palm fronds. We'll bring four more palm fronds. That was almost one of the worst decisions I ever made. That that would have, I mean, it would have been the worst thing ever, but it would have been really annoying to have to come back here like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get, get up on the pony here. Let's operate her, facing the wrong way. We're gonna have to turn around and it's time to go home. Home sweet home, baby. It feels good to be back. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this thing. Put our paddle back on, drag this thing on up. And uh, man, that was that was a good one. Let me let me check on my plants over here. Still not really sure how often we're going to have to water it. Looks like she's about halfway. We're definitely going to want to water that. For now, I'm going to go through. I'm going to organize everything. We're going to put this up here next to our other fiber sources to make sure that we have stuff to be able to make water. Uh, we should probably, honestly, probably get the fire going, get some food on the Barbie, gonna go to sleep, call it a night, and tomorrow we're making a raft. And would you look at that, we just came from the other island where we got a ton of little fibrous leaves and stuff, and now we're gonna get even more from home, our own home island is, uh, is ready to go. That's exciting. All right, so... That's the last thing. We have everything set up. We're all good to go. We've got a, a couple of pieces of meat in there. We, we fixed up our own thirst and hunger and everything. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to see what we can find in terms of these little, little leaves. And then it's going to be time to hit the sack. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Oh, my goodness. It is, um, ooh, 2.43 p.m. We kind of slept in a little bit. But I expected that because we got in so late last night. We were working and stuff. I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of hungry for some breakfast. So we're going to go ahead and light this campfire up. And uh, I want to go see if our bird snares have worked. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm kind of 
hoping they have. I'm hoping it wasn't a waste of resources in our last episode. Looks like we need to grab some wood to be able to throw in the fire as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a, a few pieces of wood there. But yeah, our bird snares are over on this side of the island. Ooh, hello, beautiful. I'll take you as well. Not, s not seeing anything there. Ah, there's one here though. Let's go. We got breakfast, boys. Honestly, that makes me kind of sad. But hey, I mean, it's a dog eat dog world out here, man. I'm just trying to survive. So here we go. We got a, a bird, a seagull. Oh, oh, dude, that, oh, he's looking at you. Oh, stop it. Go ahead and skin him up. What's he gonna give us? Is that medium meat? Oh, it's, it's small meat. That's all you get? Okay, to be honest, really not that good. I, I was expecting way more. We're gonna have to skin up another sardine for breakfast or lunch or whatever you want to call it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this meat. Are they both attached? I think it, ah, uh, got attached up top. Dude, that's, that's getting on my nerves. We're gonna have to, I don't want to extinguish it. We're gonna have to, to take down this meat smoker and delete it if, uh, if we can't figure out how to actually work it. But I'm gonna drink some water here. We could drink a, another water, why not? Let's go ahead and pick up these palm fronds, be able to, to refill it. All right, looks good. And now let's get in to the, oh, actually we gotta, we gotta feed the fire. Hold on, before the fire goes out. Now we're gonna get into the raft making business. So I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. This should be interesting, but here we go. We are gonna be going to vehicles. We're gonna need a base. So we need 14 sticks and a lashing. So I'm gonna come in here. Let's grab one. This is gonna be nine in total. So we're gonna need five more out of the next crate. Dude, these crates were so clutch. It's four, five. Okay, so we've got 14 sticks. We've got a lashing right here. And I'm gonna see if we can make a raft base. So we're gonna come in here, raft base. Oh, a hammer is required for vehicles. Well, that's fine. We've got a hammer somewhere. We've got a hammer right here. Okay, so we're gonna come back. We're gonna go to vehicles, raft base. How? How exciting. That's all it is. Now we're gonna have to make, I'm assuming we're gonna have to make a raft floor. Do we want driftwood or normal wood? I don't know. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get four normal wood and then I don't think we need an anchor right away. We don't even have six rocks to be honest. Four normal wood, six normal wood, eight normal wood, two cloths and two lashings. Okay, so we're gonna grab two of these. We're gonna grab our only two cloths. Hopefully this is worth it. And then we need eight normal wood. Where's our second crate we got into? Here we go. So this is gonna give us seven, and then we're gonna grab one more from here, that's eight. So now, if we come over here, hopefully I'm doing this right, we're not wasting resources. I'm gonna make a sail. Oh, we probably have to make the floor first. I'm gonna make a wooden raft floor, and then I'm gonna make a sail. And then I'm gonna make a rudder. It turns white for a second, but then it turns off. What's wrong? There's something in the way. If we drag this thing, oh, don't go too far. He's running away from me. Boom, okay. Definitely gonna want that anchor eventually because then we can kind of like throw the anchor out and leave it in the water, but that works for me. All right, just so we don't mess this up, I'm gonna come back over here. Let's, let's drop our hammer. We've got a, a fibrous leaf that we don't need and nothing else really matters. I'm gonna go ahead and let's, let's save just to be safe. And we're gonna take a little sunset cruise. I'm just gonna see if this thing works. If it does, I'm gonna be happy and I'm gonna call that an episode. We're gonna climb up. Okay. Hoist the sails. We can operate this bad boy. Oh, we're turning the sail. All right. I, I think I've got it down. Don't run into that, Trev. This, okay, the sail turns with the wind and then we just automatically turn the rudder wherever we wanna go. Dude, this is awesome. This is so much better than getting a paddle and paddling around, you know what I mean? This is literally perfect. Look at this beautiful night out here. We can go anywhere and everywhere we want to and all is well in the world. I wonder if we can, we can probably add on extra sides and stuff and like make it longer and whatever else. Dude, this is amazing. All right, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. We are gonna take on the world and probably go see a new island. I've got a feeling that's what I wanna do. So hope you guys are ready for that. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace out.